of the most watched races, not only in Texas, but the entire country. Ted Cruz running against Beto O'Rourke for U.S. Senate. CBS 11's Jennifer Lingren is live at one polling location in Dallas with a look at the candidates' platforms and what political experts are saying. Jen. Karen, the polls in this race continue to narrow the lead Senator Cruz has over Congressman O'Rourke. Both of these candidates spent the final hours in the day before Election Day campaigning across Texas, pleading with their supporters to get out and vote today. The Senate election pitting Republican incumbent Ted Cruz against Democratic challenger Beto O'Rourke has been one of the most competitive in the nation. Both have big personalities. Both set records for fundraising. Cruz is seeking his second term in the Senate, and O'Rourke is seeking his first, coming from El Paso, where he represents the 16th district in the House. The real clear politics average of polls between October 8th and October 30th shows Cruz six and a half points up on O'Rourke. Here's UT Dallas political science professor Dr. Robert Lowry. The, the bottom line is it's, he's an incumbent candidate in a heavily Republican state. He keeps coming back to turnout. Um, you know, if there's a, a surge in turnout, people voting for Democrats, O'Rourke still might win. The last time a Democratic candidate from Texas won a U.S. Senate seat was back in 1988. Live in Dallas, Jennifer Lindgren, CBS 11 News.